clerk services. Let's look at the stock's performance first. Uh, it's uh, been a bit of a mover uh, over the last one year, but the bulk of the move has happened in the last one month. That's of course e-clerks today, it's, it's flat with the positive bias. Stock didn't do anything, it was actually underperforming and then something changed in the last one month and you've got us, uh, this 26-27% uh, kind of an increase. Now the change probably is uh, about the leadership and that's what's gotten the market quite excited. Uh, Kapil Jain was appointed the group MD and CEO of the company towards the end of May. Uh, and this is the first non-promoter appointment that we've seen at eClerks. So, uh, well, let's uh, actually bring in uh, Srinivasan uh, uh, Nadur, the CFO at eClerks, to talk about some of the you know more in intrinsic business internal dynamics and the market's expectations. Uh, Srinivasan, thank you very much for joining in. So, I'll, I'll sort of cut to the chase. Uh, I think the market's expecting this management change to infuse a, a new lease of life. Uh, in terms of the company's operations. If you look at the fourth quarter, growth was fairly muted. Uh, what is the sense that you're getting now? What's the new agenda? You know, has this change already set in? Uh, and uh, what are we expecting in terms of the growth uh, this year? Um, thanks for having me on the show, firstly. Uh, I guess Kapil is still settling in. It will take a couple of uh, months or maybe a little more before... Um, he uh, decides what he wants to do in terms of strategy, where the areas that he wants to focus in and what his um, direction towards growth is going to be. At the moment, um, he is uh, still learning about our business. I think he's very familiar with the BPM business um, as a whole. Uh, but in terms of what Eclus specifically does, that is something um, a little new to him. So he's settling down, he's understanding the business, he understands what is driving us. He's meeting a lot of clients. Uh, so I guess um, we will uh, know um, what his strategy is and what the direction for the firm is in maybe a couple of months' time. Okay. Well, you know, uh, Srinivasan, he's also come in at a very interesting time, right? You all had an absolutely flat quarter. The commentary was fairly muted about uh, sort of clients uh, uh, sort of being a little hesitant. Now, has that changed in Q1 or is it more of the same and, uh, you know, what is the differentiated approach that you perhaps think will the company take, if at all, uh, as we go later down this year? Uh, so, Q1 is likely to be as soft um, as um, Q4. If not, maybe there may even be a slight decline uh, quarter on quarter. Uh, and that's because, uh, as we had uh, spoken earlier, uh, the uh, macroeconomic environment and the discretionary spend from client continues to remain uh, Challenge. However, we think that uh, H2 should be good for the industry as well as for us. So we hope to see some recovery in the um, second half of the year. So Q1 and Q2 should both be soft? Q1 for sure, uh, likely to be soft. Uh, Q2 mm. things are still uh, playing out. Uh, okay. Early to comment, but uh, let's see. Okay, last time we spoke, I think you'd also mentioned that, you know, you've not seen any order cancellations, but there have been some deferrals. Um, have there been any more deferrals since the last time we spoke, which was around around a month ago? Uh, no, not any more than usual. It's, it seems to okay. be at the same level. Uh, we also see some indications of uh, demand picking up, which may probably reflect in uh, H2. Okay. Um, give us a sense on, uh, you know, uh, the growth drivers for this year. For instance, we're seeing so much of this chatter around AI, right? Uh, another mid-cap IT company's uh, peer set, LTI Mindtree, for instance, has announced uh, some new innovations that they're doing on the generative AI side. Is this an area you're looking at at all? Uh, and if not AI, what do you think is going to be the, the, uh, the force to reckon with with respect to your business this year? Uh, for us also, I think AI is an area of uh, interest and we are investing in it uh, proactively. We have uh, spoken to clients, We've, uh, we have a couple of pilots underway. Uh, so we want to use this to be able to be more relevant to our customer. And we are somewhere in between stage one and stage two. Stage one is where we are trying to understand what it is about, what it can do. And stage two is to do some pilots for clients and show them what is possible. Uh, so that's where uh, we are currently. But, uh, but you're right, I agree that it's going to be some kind of game changer for the industry in the medium term. But is it going to be margin uh, uh, deflationary, Srinivasan? That's also what I think everyone's trying to understand because, you know, there's higher productivity, increased efficiencies. 
Uh, but the moment you get into that, the AI zone, uh, can it have a downward push on margins? I think it's too early to say. Uh, definitely productive. If all the hype that is around AI plays out, then definitely there will be uh, significant productivity gains, which could have an impact um, on margins. But on the uh, flip side, I think it's on us to ensure that we are able to reskill our uh, teams and um, get a lot of more of market share than we otherwise would have been able to. So I think it's up okay. to us to how we use it and how we remain relevant to customers. Hmm. Okay, that is on the AI um, space. Uh, you know, speaking of margins, could you just take us through what you're expecting for, for all of FY24? In Q4, you saw around 25%. Um, should we expect similar levels in FY24 as well? Uh, yes, you should. Um, in terms of margin, there are no significant headwinds. Attrition continues to be down. We have uh, fairly good control on uh, bench. Um, so something in that range uh, should be reasonably possible to achieve. You were you were also um, you know looking at bringing down the headcount right earlier, anticipating that slowdown. Has that process stopped? Uh, it is going on. Uh, I think we are at uh, maybe more at. Uh, about the most efficient that uh, we could be. So um, I think uh, from here on, um, we don't see any significant um, headcount reduction. Okay. All right, uh, Srinivasan, we will leave it on that note uh, for today. Thank you very much for joining in. Good chatting with you. Uh, and we hope to look out for some of the other business trends. The, uh, I mean, the cautious tone is quite uh, apparent, right? Yeah. Uh, he's gone on record to say that the first quarter could be uh, as soft as we have seen in the fourth quarter. There could be a quarter and quarter decline in the business. Mm. So I think it's not settled quite just as yet. Yeah, it looks like that.